Hi there and welcome to Planet Zoo. So I've been playing through the game for almost a week now and I'm finally making a profit which has enabled me to unlock all the build pieces. I have enough money to get more elaborate with my buildings and decorations. So I've been checking out what's shiny and new and what we get to build with. My attention was immediately drawn to the absolutely amazing glass build pieces we have. I'm blown away by how beautiful some of the glasswork is. One of these in particular, we have these modern glass roof panels. These futuristic geometric shapes are just crying out to be made into bubble domes. So that's what I did. I've started with this mini bubble dome and this can be used for loads of stuff. For example, here I've made it into a new world learning zone. It's got an educational stand and some benches and a little bit of plant decoration in there. Here I've turned it into a mini biome with some tropical plants in it, so kind of like a greenhouse. I think it could also be used as a futuristic animal shelter and I want to test out with the invisible pathing whether it can be used as a 360 degree viewing area like so you're actually inside an animal's enclosure get up close and personal with a tiger so to build this the pieces don't snap together which made this really fiddly the pieces are counted as scenery rather than building structures so the edges don't snap and it certainly didn't help that the advanced move tool rotates this on its side rather than its center as well there's a trick I've learned in Planet Coaster to make spherical structures where you can lay pieces down in a 15 degree angle and then duplicate in a circle to get a perfect sphere. This won't work with these pieces either because the angle they need to snap on isn't in 15 degree increments and that's all the game allows for. So it was a painstaking process to get the pieces lining up exactly. The shape is a truncated icosahedron. That's the same shape as a soccer ball. So it uses hexagons and pentagrams. There's also triangle shapes in the same bubble glass piece. That gives opportunity to make even bigger and complex domes using all three shapes. I may attempt that at some point too. It would be cool to have a bigger dome that could be used as a full animal enclosure. So if this is something that would be useful, let me know in the comments and I'll give it a go if there's interest for one. So base of the dome, I made this with the smallest concrete block they have in the game. Again, this is counted as a scenery piece, not a build piece, so no grid and no snapping. Personally, I'd like an option in game where you can select yourself whether you want something to use the build or scenery snapping and the advanced movement. That would give way more flexibility and accuracy to building stuff like this. Anyway, it was a little fiddly, but I was able to duplicate the base in a perfect circle, so I think it came out okay. So, this dome is now available on the Steam Workshop. There's a link to the files in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoy what I've created here, and subscribe to keep up with what else I'm building in Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, and hopefully I'll be adding some more creative build games soon. Cheers for watching, bye for now.